Alrighty guys, welcome to yet another episode of my Let's Play, the full version of the crew. And on this episode, we're going to be doing the uh, circuit spec on the Mercedes, the Mercedes 300 SLR coupe. And the circuit spec one looks pretty darn cool. Actually, uh, it's pretty realistic to uh, a racing version of the uh, of the coupe, 300 SLR coupe. I'm just going to call it the 300 SLR coupe because uh, the uh, other German part of the name is kind of hard to pronounce. The taillights actually change a little bit. The headlights have little are taped off, which is uh, re re reminiscent of that because race cars do that. And the pitch of the engine changed a little bit. Of course, there's some little racing lights in the grill. There's a little uh, def deflector on the hood which is uh, to deflect the wind over the roof a little bit better and of course force air into that little slit which is for the uh, shoot which is for the intake and of course uh, looking at the interior options as you can see you can only do aluminum interior options you can't do anything else anything related to aluminum it allows but yeah it's kind of restricted of course with the rims we're actually gonna take a quick look at some of the rims options for this thing and as you can see if you look closely for a few seconds while I'm changing rims when uh, the rim goes away for a second you can actually see there's a drum brake inside of there which is realistic I talked about that in the last episode where I was doing the perspec uh, 300 SLR coupe and I'm just looking at the paint options there's all you can have all the paint options for this thing you can have chrome you can have iridescent matte etc and of course in terms of stickers you can have all the stickers Performance, now we're doing some performance modifications because there's nothing else you could do. Engine, again, not realistic. But that was to be expected because uh, the developers are... Well, you're not going to really look at the engine all that often whenever... You're just going to drive this thing most of, the, most of the time. So, it's not much of a bummer, but the engine sound is kind of... Uh, I don't really like the engine sound. It's not the best. It's just basically they recycle an engine sound. What they could have done is they could have put the SLS engine sound, which I talked about last time. They could have put the SLS engine sound and uh, made it a little bit bassier. But, oh well. It is what it is now. There's nothing really, really we can do about it. Also, the circuit spec version of the 300 SLR also suffers from a, a bad, bad brakes because of the fact that the the drum brakes are actually not replaced. I believe they, the the crew was not. The developers decided to make it feel somewhat realistic because the the real life uh, 300 SLRs would have uh, kind of bad brakes because, like I said, they're drum brakes. Drum brakes are not the best in terms of uh, putting them up against uh, disc brakes. But the braking is improved quite a bit. The stats a little higher on the braking, but it's not. Uh, it's not high enough for it to make a significant difference. Of course, the handling is a little bit worse. It's not as grippy. It's more tail happy. And it's more likely to kill you. And of course, you'll see how bad the braking is coming up right about now because I start braking in the alleyway. And I don't really stop completely. But yeah, as you can see, you saw for a second when I was looking at the front of my car that the headlights are actually taped up. As you can see, they are taped up with a little X. That's kind of required for racing cars. I believe it's to prevent blindingness. Oh, and you're also one, you're probably wondering what happened with the exhaust on the side. That's actually a big silencer they put on the exhaust because of uh, regulations for noise on tracks back in the day. And nowadays there is actually still regulations for tracks like the Nürburgring. There's a noise, regula uh, noise regulation. Your car can't be too loud, otherwise you won't be able to drive. But the little... the the silencer on the side of the exhaust is actually pretty darn cool. I would prefer having just the normal exhaust without the silencer, but yeah, whatever. I also noticed something else. With the 300 SLR uh, circuit spec, you actually, if you listen, if you listen to the two sounds of the SLRs, the per spec and the circuit spec, you will notice there's actually a slight difference. The tone is a little bit, the sound has changed slightly. I believe it's got a little bit more pitch on the circuit spec version. And on the circuit on the circuit spec version, it's actually a little bit quieter because of the silencers. And they repl replicated that quite well. I like that they kind of replicated that to give you an idea of how the silencers would kind of work on this car and uh, freaking traffic cars, in a way. As you can see, uh, this car actually does suffer from slight understeer issues on both both specs, but the perf spec one is actually a bit be easier to drive than the circuit spec one. But I'm not complaining, I actually like the Perfect Spec one better because it looks close enough to stock. The Circuit Spec one looks cool, 
but it's not really to my style. I don't usually drive circuit spec cars all the time. I do use them for drifting sometimes because they're really, really easy to drift, especially on asphalt in, in sports steering settings. So yeah, and of course this car is just immensely fast in all specs I forgot to mention. As you can see, I'm, I was going 200 miles per hour through that section. And I'm already getting back up to 200 miles per hour after going through that corner. This thing is just immense. As you can see, there's a little slight issue with brakes. And yeah, here's actually a traffic car spawned and uh, yeah, I got killed. In a sense, this is kind of a way to test to see how well this thing gets back on its feet if you crash. And it feels pretty well. It starts accelerating like a mofo. Also, uh, I forgot to mention, the Circuit Spec 1 also, the Circuit Spec version of the 300 SLR also has only 5 gears. Which is not interesting and it's kind of realistic because the real life racing version of the 300 SLR would also have 5 gears. All the versions of the 300 SLR I believe have 5 gears. Back in the day. Because um, they didn't have a, they didn't really believe in 7 gear or 6 gear technology back in the day. And of course, like I said, the gears are pretty darn long when you compare it to other cars. So yeah, overall I do like this thing, this car, but the engine sound kind of puts me off of it because it's not realistic, it sounds like kind of like crap. It just sounds like a NASCAR and it just, it's just not right for this car at all. I love, and I, lo and I, lo I just love driving it, it's a nice car to drive. But the engine sound kind of puts me off of it. I just hope they kind of fix it and uh, get rid of the high revving NASCAR V8 engine sound out of it. Because like I said, it's not realistic at all. I mean, I could understand, uh, I could live with the fact that the engine, when you strip the body off, is not realistic. I could live with that because I'm not going to do that really that often. I'm not going to look under, I'm not going to take the body off and look at how the cars assemble and stuff like that. Because I'm just going to drive them. I like driving them. I don't really like just going to the HQ and looking at them. I just like driving these cars. And here I got to be careful because traffic spawns like that. There you go. Almost got killed by another traffic car. SUV thing. And of course I also noticed this car's got relatively bouncy suspension. Which is appropriate because back in the day... The, cla the vintage cars also have bouncy suspension. The classic Mustangs have bouncier suspension. The classic Chargers have bouncy suspension. And in a sense, you can think of them as kind of like jelly. As in the suspension is soft to the point that it could roll. But not this thing is not too soft and it's not too firm. It absorbs the jumps pretty darn well. If you go over a, a jump, then it, it, absorbs the, it absorbs the blow pretty darn well with the soft suspension. But, and of course, if you actually go over a jump, sometimes you'll actually do a wheelie, like I just did there. I did, went over the jump a little bit, and I got a wheelie, and the freaking traffic got away. And the bus cut me off. Freaking huge-ass bus killed me. And we're nearing the end of the race. I don't really care about how well this run is. I just kind of want to finish it now, at this point. I didn't want to bother restarting over and over and over again just to get a perfect run. It doesn't exactly matter. You get the point of how this car handles. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's getting to the point of being the uh, bad. But I'd say it's about it's about average, low average. A low average car. Mainly what you'd be using this for is just cruising. That's what I'd mainly be using this for as well. I just like cruising and this car just suits my style. Just put it into overdrive which is the highest gear possible and put some music on and just drive. That's basically what this thing is for. So yeah, gonna finish up this event right now. So yeah, did relatively well, considering that I crashed a lot, quite a bit. And it was the best run because of that. But yeah, I, I like this car a lot, but it's not my number one favorite car. It's up there in my top 10 favorite cars, but yeah, I wouldn't, I don't really wanna give it a ranking because I don't have a I don't really do that kind of stuff I just like all cars and so yeah just kind of looking at the reverse lights and stuff like that interior is pretty awesome I like this thing a lot but again I'm gonna say it again it's not my favorite so hope you guys enjoyed this video give the video a like and stuff and I'll see you in the next one goodbye I
eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through.